So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is an impromptu Saturday stream. It's a live stream recorded for Ustream.tv and also for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. Um, I'm working, I've cleaned out my little, um, it's called a workstation. Uh, you can get them um, normally at model railway shows and I think probably this is where I've picked this up. You can't get this particular one again but you can because it, I've had it 20 years and my daughter was throwing it out. It's a little, a little bit hard. So if it was on your knee, if you pop that, oops, sorry, I shouldn't have moved it. If you pop that onto a mush, cushion tray, it should, and I rearranged this, that would just sit nice. Um, it should be perfectly all right and it won't dig into your knees. So I have this on top of a cushion tray. But it's really good, even though the cushion tray has a bit of a lip, this holds certain things and it holds them quite firm. They're not going to go anywhere. And then you can pick the whole thing up and put it away and bring, pick it back up again. So it's quite handy. Now this particular area here is normal standard size. Um, and I think it's 12 by about 11 and a half. So I can just get my finger at the bottom of this um, colour book by Hannah Carlson. Um, and a hand at this size. So I think it's 12 by, I think about 10. Measure it, six. Oh no, it's, um, it's six wide and it's about ten and a half, ten and three quarters long. So it's quite a good size and of course it holds a colour book quite nice. If you push it up to that side it works quite well. Um, this is a hard back so sometimes, but they still sit quite nice. It's very handy to use and as I say you can put pencil sharpeners in here, a water pot in there. You could put water in there if you wanted because it is plastic. Um, but I tend to put post-it notes. I'm going to put my post-it notes in that one. And I use these in my colour books and I've forgotten to do it recently. So if they're in front of me, I can work on a page and then I'm going to put a colour. And what I normally do is I put a little sticky one at the top if I'm working on that page. And I put one at the end if I finish the page. Um, and that was a good idea. But the other thing I'm doing is I'm working from the front of the book. Um, I haven't started this one yet but what I do now is I start on the first page and work through the book and then that stops me being picky and leaving things that need to be coloured. So um, this is, I'll finish this off probably today and then this is going to be my first page and this is why I haven't started because I haven't decided what I want to do with that. So I can't start this book until I've done this page. Um, but I do have many other books to do as well. So I've got quite a lot of post-its in there. Um, and this tray is what I tipped out. I had all this on that tray. So I decided it needed a bit of a clean out. So I've got a mechanical pencil, um, a micron, um, two uh, big pens. One's got multicoloured biros and this one has a biro but it also has um, a mechanical pencil in as well. So we've got blue, red and black and the grey one is actually a mechanical pencil and it comes with some spare nibs and the end is an eraser. So it's a quite a handy little pen is that. If you don't want to kind of think about just have that one. Um, I don't really think I want all those tucked in there, but I'll pop them in. Um, I have my little Diddy ruler, and again, that's quite handy, so I think I'm going to put that that side. I've got three or four erasers. don't really think I need this many erasers, really. That one's the putty one. 
um, and I seem to have picked up quite a few sharpeners as well. Um, there's another multicoloured by Bic multicoloured pen. So I've got several sharpeners and the only one I use in emergency is the Derwent one. Um, and I've got these other little metal ones. There is a little Derwent pastel one there. Um, so I'm going to keep the, the putty rubber one because it's quite handy, is that? And it's just the bog standard medium need Winsor & Newton putty rubber. Not going to bother to put it back in its pot. Um, that's a bit old and decrepit, but we'll use that one for... If I'm using some little bits, I'll keep. Because if you're using pastel, it's quite good. Um, I don't think I want my... It's a very old one, is this? Probably had it 20 years. Um, so I'm going to put that back in the tray and put that away. don't think I'm going to keep that. I have a little part that I keep colour in when I shave colour. And then I've just found two pastels, so I'm going to put that little pot there. I have this little pot with erasers in for my electric mechanical pencil sharpener. So I'm going to put those there. I have an instant sanitizer spray, um, and these were from the pound shop. And it's the finest mist spray I've ever found, so it's full of water now. I got these for my daughter for school because they could go in the pencil case and she could also clean her hands. Um, so I use that as a spritzer and then I have a Derwent, that must be a number one I think. Yep, yeah, that's a Derwent number one brush. So I'm going to start to put some things in here. Um, I'm going to swap those over because I am left handed. So I've got my stickers at and when I've got quite a few things in there, it's going to stand up straight. Um, I've also found some quite hard, tiny colour shapers. So I'm going to put those in there. Um, there's a charcoal pencil, which I don't want. Um, there's a little tiny prayer bookmark that I got from the little shop, in, the little prayer shop in... Island. Um, these little miniature jam pots are quite handy for water and again you know just using a teaspoon of water means you're not going to spill anything. Um, this is from something I don't know what it is. I have a, a miniature bone folder so that's going to go in there as well. Inside down. Um, and I found a little china ink, ink thing. And these are from the, the table. I'm leaning on this little table. Um, and it's um, like an underbed table, a smaller version. That, but it could quite easily be a computer table. There were, these were good laptops to go under the sofa. Uh, and it tilts at one side and stays up, up right. But I've taken the little, the little screws that you... The little... Um, they designed to hold your laptop on when you tilt it. So I'll take them off because this is a bit wider. So I may put those just there and I know where they are. Um, one or two bowl clips, another little paper magnet. And then I have these, um, I have these Derwent finger grips and they're for um, inktense blocks. And there should be three, so I don't know where the other one is. I have a little dirty water pot of water, which I keep in there. I think that's it. There was much of bulk clips that I liked. I might keep that, rule, that eraser out. Um, there's another eraser there, but it's a new one, so I'll keep that. The other little thing I like to have handy is little makeup blenders. And there is a little, um, it's a Winsor & Newton little brush and it's the one that you get in the in the little pan set. But I can never open the thing, so that's quite handy to have about. I've got quite a few of those. And I do have some Pilot um, cartridges which don't really want to be there, but I don't want to lose them. 
I do have some Stanley blades and I have quite a few sharpeners which although they're quite good quality they're not as good as my new one and um, that's the back of my oh that's what I was looking for so I do have a bulldog clip so I'm going to put that on there and I have a diddy one so that could be on that side as well and I think the rest of the things there's some Airways chewing gum because if you have asthma, I find this actually quite good. There's the other Derwent. They come in threes, the Derwent uh, blocks. It's to stop your fingers getting dirty. And this is from a, um, a children's pencil. And sometimes I put it on a pencil. Piggles? No. Oh, she wants to go on. So the lurch has arrived now. I'm going to pop that in there because I don't want to lose it. And then I can put that on the side to get to go through later. So I'm probably going to put these would only go there when I get rid of that. The little brush I want handy. So I'm going to stick that there. The little finger grips will go in there and that pot will go at the back. Now I do have a pot. I've got my nail varnish. I do have a pot with the brushes in and they've also got some rotary pens um, and some scissors. So if I'm going to put, make this a proper little workstation, I also have a large bone folder as well, which technically I don't need. Um, I've got a brush, a brush marker which I've never used, so that could possibly come out. Another bone folder, which I certainly don't need. Um, I have some blend, blending tools Oops. that I've picked up somewhere. I did put one or two little water brushes in here, but I don't tend to use them. I've got another blending tool, so I'm going to take the blending tools out because when I take the pencils in a minute, I'm going to do work with pen pastel pencils. Um, I want to put the blenders back with the pencils, so I've got everything together. Um, that's the metallic pencil, so I don't really want to lose that. So I did find these water brushes that you get from um, from China, but I'm not using them. That looks like a rigger. So I think today I'm going to work with the round brushes with a point. Um, but I do like the riggers and the Art Master series. I like those. They're not very expensive, but they last forever and they're really good. I have some very, very fine paintbrushes, really diddy, diddy little paintbrushes. Um, that's a Pro Art series. <laughs> Sorry, apologies. No, what's it? Try and keep the dogs in the other room in a second. So, I'm looking for all the Art Master Pearl ones because I'm going to put them together. So, I think oh, that's another one. I think that will do. Um, and these fine ones I use for my old painting, but that could be a thing of the past. Oh, I have a white, a Pilot 07. A silver. Don't know what that's doing in there, but I've bobbed it in there for a reason. Um, I do have my Caran d'Ache um, water brush, but it's a bit too wet for me. So I'm going to put that in there. I have two of those, and I don't tend to use them, so it's a bit of a waste, really. I'm going to put that on there. So I think I've got everything on there that I really would need. The other thing that I carry around, I've, this is a little, um, I think they're for flights, for your passports and things, uh, and you can use them for, um, you can use them for bullet journaling, and journalers normally put pens in it as well, so I'm going to put some paintbrushes in there, I'm going to put my paintbrushes in there, um, and I do have one or two on the front here as well. Um, that I've been working with recently and I think I'm going to put all those in there 
but I think I might take these out. Um, but I do want my 10 zero liner because it's very handy. And it has to go to a point. So it's quite handy. So I've got paintbrushes in there. And then if you dye your hair, you get one of these little Nutrice creme um, bottles. But it's it's thin. And I've actually seen one in a Victorian this size, obviously not made of plastic. Uh, so it's perfect to go in there for water. Um, and I would probably take the little pot with me. And in there should be a lid, so I can put it in there. Now. Because that will allow me to do as much watercolouring as I want to do. Um, I don't think I've got anything else in here. I've got another blending tool. Um, I've got a pipette. I've got another blending tool. Um, when my husband had uh, shing not shingles, what did he have? It's when you get boils on the back of your throat, not very nice. Um, the doctor, I had to take him to the doctors, and she spilt on the floor a whole box of these for putting your tongue. You're supposed to hold the tongue down, and obviously, because she dropped them on the floor, they all had to be thrown away. And I'm sorry to ask. I said. I'm really sorry, but you're going to throw those away? She said, yes. I said, May I have them, please? <laughs> so I have tongue tongue pokers from the doctors. And I've got a little tiny brush here that I haven't used for a while, so I might try that one because it looks very similar. It's a very similar size to the tiny... Sorry about the light. I either have too much or too little. So it's almost the same size as and I think it came free with something and oh look at this I think oh yes the top goes on the end <laughs> I'm trying to think where it came from but I think it came in a set of something and then I have two little scraper cards for when you're doing mixed media And there's a pack of miniature hand wipes. So instead of baby wipes, I use hand wipes. Because everything was reduced to small, a, smaller, a smaller thing. And then I can take this. Um, and believe it or not, my book of watercolours fits in there as well. If I didn't have all the brushes. My little book of watercolours. So if I take this and this, I, I've got a full, a full water medium thing, and that's not very big. Um, in fact, I've just had an idea. I couldn't do it with that. That I could with that. I could slip that into there. Look. So if you didn't have anything on the back of your album, you could put that in there. And now it's attached. And that will go. If you put a rubber band over that, it's it's everything you need for watercolouring. Whether you want to do um, sketching or if you want to do colouring, you just need the book with you. Uh, so that's quite handy. So I'm going to take slide that out of there. Um, Put that there, and I wonder if that will go next to it. Oh, that will go next to it. Now these paint brushes are a little bit too long. Um, but if we put other things in, if I got some more, they will st sit upright. Um, or I could make a little cardboard tube to put down there. I think I'm going to put these back into the. Um, some blending tools there which I don't think I want but I'm going to put those with the pastel so I need to keep them out and then I've got these must play with this um, Pantel colour brush um, and I've, I've never played with it so I might have to start doing some play with that because again it won't put a lot of pressure on your hands so I've got two water bottles two, um, two brushes 
and then I have this one. I think this one is a this is a Pantel. It says Japan F R H, I think that says. And again that's that's a thicker one and I have a smaller one and I like those. It's a little yellow one somewhere. The little yellow one I took all around Germany with me. I have this one, these are But I do find they're too wet. I can't brush one. There should be a little way in here somewhere. So I use these not for watercolouring in the traditional way, but for um, for colouring. Sorry, for watercolours, but watercolouring. So that's colouring in in a colour book. Um, so, pop the scissors in that one. I don't think I'm going to bother with that one. I do want to play with that at some point. So I'll put the pens at the back. And of course I use this all the time so that has to stay there. I don't think I'm going to use that, that one. So I'll put a pot of water and my nail varnish and they want to go away oops next time so that should get me all set so I've got paintbrushes and my watercolors set there I've got my little bottle of watercolors I'll just move that up a bit so I've got all my post-it notes that fits in there quite nicely so you've got to find things that fit because these holes and these cubbies will be different to a brand new one um, I do know that Umbro make one and they have little circles and this particular water pot will fit in um, and they're designed for the little Umbro enamel paints for modellers and they have little holes so you can you could use them for watercolours or anything so all across the top these these little little holes for putting your paints um, so I think the little the other ones that fit in there are the poster paints, the, the children's poster paints. Um, so, that's my little workstation and again I can pick it up and move it wherever I want. But I do use it on a cushion tray because as I say, because it has these ridges, on the other edge of the ridges are sharp, um, not particularly sharp, but it's a plastic edge and so it's kind of rigid. So if you use it on a cushion tray, I use this in the car um, I take it on the train because it will fit in just a big shopping bag um, and it it's just it's I think it's about 16 let me see if I can measure it I did put my ruler down here and the other th nice thing I like about this particular one is my my pencil case that I take absolutely everywhere with me fits in there as well. Um, so actually thinking about it, I'm going to keep, I take that one that's in the pencil, that's the little water brush, that's a mechanical pencil and that's another marker. Um, I do write with this one but I don't need it out so I can put those in the other pot away. I can only write with one marker at once and in here, in here I have my Faber-Castell Grip Plus 7, which is fantastic if your hands don't work well. And you can draw with this one. Um, I have extra nibs. I have spare clean um, replacements for my Derwent electric eraser. Um, I have two expensive brushes that have tops on. I have a little stylus, I have a little handbag hanger, so you hang that on the table when you're going anywhere and your handbags don't go on the floor because I never like to put my handbags on the floor. Um, I have a nail file and I have a lovely little pen that I got from the Abbey. It's quite pretty. And I have a fat stylus, I've forgotten that was in there. It actually sits on, 
a, a, it doesn't want to be in there really but it is quite nice to hold if you want to draw so I have all those things in my little bag and there is another pen but it's missing um, and it's another it, in fact it's not missing it's in my it's in my handbag it's the one pen I do oopsie carry around with me and again it's a really good pen and this one it's really expensive and I was a bit disappointed I love the pen um, but the black one uh, there's a grey one and it kind of ran out straight away so I was a bit upset about that um, but it's the the Frickson Ball 4 and it has four colours 0.5 and the top is an eraser so it's one of the pens you can write with and I find that this is the easiest one to write with um, and then I found the little angel it was broken at the Abbey so I bought the little angel uh, so this is quite nice to draw with and to write with but a bit disappointed the ink didn't last long as I say from Tesco's it was £8 so that is a bit steep for something that didn't last two minutes um, but that one is the one that actually sits in my handbag So, I like the fact that that all sits there where I need it. So I'm going to put that one in there, and I'll put that one in there as well. I don't take the ruler with me, so I can put that one in there. So that's my little workstation. Thanks for watching.